Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. Finch is the sixth and latest version of Rockov architecture, succeeding their Eagle version 5 lines of model. In this video, we are going to install this Finch model based on Rockov architecture locally and then we are going to test it out. Before that, let me give you a quick overview as what exactly this Rockov architecture is. Rockov or RWKV stands for Receptance Weighted Key Value. Rockov is a new AI architectural model that combines the benefits of RNNs and transformers while fixing their weaknesses. It's designed to be efficient, scalable, and good at handling sequential data like text or time series. So what is RNN? RNN stands for Recurrent Neural Network. RNNs are AI models that process sequential data one step at a time using information from previous steps to inform the next step. They are good at handling sequences but can be slow and struggle with long-term dependencies or longer scope of data. That is why Transformer became so popular. Transformers are the architectural model that process sequential data in parallel, focusing on relationship between all parts of the sequence instead of just the token from previous step. Transformers are fast and scalable, but they have a problem of quadratic scaling. So what is quadrating scaling? As the input sequence length increases, the computational cost grows quadratically, which means very quickly, making it hard to process long sequences. So as soon as you have a long context and other works are being going on to fix that, but for now transformers models generally suffer from this very quick or quadratic scaling of context. Also, it's a very well-known fact that transformers require a lot of memory to store attention mechanism because they have to keep track of not only the weights but also the relationships. So what is the key difference between Rockov and Transformer now? Rockov addresses these weaknesses of quadratic scaling and memory bottlenecks of Transformer architecture. And that's what makes it so promising. So the way it does is quite interesting. It replaces dot product attention with channel directed attention, which is more efficient. And you can get a slight idea from this architectural diagram of a rock off. It also uses linear scaling instead of quadratic scaling, which is more faster and more memory efficient. Again, quadratic scaling refers to the rapid growth in computational cost as the input sequence length increases. For example, if you double the sequence length, the computational cost quadruples. Also, the rock of architecture deals with the linear scaling. Linear scaling means the computational cost grows linearly with the input sequence length. If you double the sequence length, the computational cost only doubles. And that is what Rockov offers. So all in all, Rockov, Rockov aims to provide a balance between computational efficiency and expressive capacity, enabling large-scale AI models with billions of parameters to run more sustainably and efficiently. And interestingly enough, Rockov's internal CPP, which is an implementation just like GGML or GGUF, is also being implemented in recent Windows 11 laptops uh, I think Microsoft is using them with their Fire models and Copilot. But I will be doing another video on it because that is a separate topic and requires a full video. So we will check it out later. Coming back to this rock of. So as I said, it uses low resource usage. So it means you can fit in more bigger models on your VRAM and CPU. And it scales to any context length. It performs just as well in terms of quality and capability, even with that lesser memory. And as of now, with this new Finch model, as I mentioned, they have released a lot of variants. Like the biggest model is 14 billion and the smallest model is just 0.4 billion. And they have 1.5 billion, 3 billion, 7 billion model. And all of them look quite good. 
so let's get started and one more thing i wanted to let you know that this is not the first time we are covering rock of i covered rock of first time last year i think almost a year ago when they first released so here is a video as you can how you can install it on windows we also covered the eagle family the previous family and various other videos that you can just search on the channel okay so let's try out this finch model before that let's give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus let me go to my terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 let me create a conda environment that is a virtual environment i'm just calling it rock off let's wait for it to get created conda environment is created let me install some of the prerequisites which include torch and transformers so for this video i am going to use the transformer hugging face transformer implementation of it the rock of one and you, there is another tool which is called as rock of runner which you can use to get it installed i will also do another video on it so for this one let's try to see this how it runs on transformers library so let's wait for everything to get installed and all the prerequisites are installed from the source let's also launch our jupyter notebook and then we will download the model there so our notebook is launched let me grab the models from hugging face and we are just going with 1.5 billion model of this new finch version 6 and the model is downloading let's wait for it to finish you can also install this one um, but i think we'll just go without it for now and the model is downloaded now next up let's do the inference for inference first up i'm just defining a small function to generate a prompt with this prompt template and then this is the whole input response assistant user where we are assigning the role and then uh, and this is simple system prompt nothing else from the assistant and then this is our prompt where we are asking what is happiness generating the prompt converting that text into tokenized tokens and then from there we are generating the response from the model and then printing it back after that decoding let me run it and there you go look at the response response looks quite good actually so there is an assistant and then we are asking it what is happiness it has told us what is happiness in a very good prose as you can see happiness is a complex and multifaceted concept so the english is quite good here and then it is just uh, taking it further by ask you know user is asking definition of happiness and then again definition of app it is just going in the loop because we haven't given it end of sequence and that is this warning is about but that is fine we can see that the answer is perfectly well maybe i can just you know just keep it 128 in order to make sure that we don't go too overboard next up let's try to ask it another question around multilingual so in the next one i am asking it Translate I love you in Arabic, Hindi, French, Korean, Spanish, and Urdu. I'm not sure if it is um, multilingual or not, but let's see. So you see, this is Arabic, and then it is all, only doing it in Arabic. I don't think so. This is multilingual. So it has tried, but it didn't go too far. Okay, that is fine. So in that case, we will just stick with our English. Let me ask it to write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty let's wait for it so it has produced something let's go down and check okay now all 10 sentences they sort of have the word beauty but they are not ending with the word beauty which is not good enough okay so i think that's a fail i would say it didn't follow the instructions let's check another one so i am asking it how many r's are there in the word strawberry let's see so that answer is correct there are three r's in the word strawberry that is cool most many models have failed this test so i'm quite glad to see this one working fine let's test out 
a math equation to see how its math is. And there you go. We can already tell that it is doing a logical reasoning, which is quite good. Amazing. The answer is totally correct. And you see, it has started with simplifying the expression and then remaining expression. And then finally, it has reached to the conclusion. Great stuff. Okay. Next up, let's try a logical reasoning question. In this one, I am asking it about a bat and a ball together cost $1.10. The bat cost one dollar more than the ball how much does the ball co ball cost let's also try to maybe i'll just make it 256 okay let's run it so there you go another you can see that there is a logical reasoning and then it is just telling us that the ball cost one dollar ten cents so i don't think so it has done it correctly it seems that complex problems still it is struggling maybe the size of the model is the cost anyway but this is a fail i would say let's try out a coding question so i'm asking you to generate a python function that calculates the area of a rectangle given its length and width let's wait and there you go so let's see it has tried to do something no, yeah no, doesn't look like it does it properly okay so i don't i think this is this seems to be really good at english language i think it also understands chinese but i think other than language understanding i'm not really much impressed by the model and this um, is uh, normally the case with other rock of model 2 where the english language understanding is awesome so i think if you're just look, looking for a language model on in terms of english or chinese then and you want a small model to be running on a very low vram or cpu or any edge devices any mobile device i think then this is a very good choice so that's it guys this is the first video in this series i will be doing multiple videos on the larger rock of finch models plus there are a couple of tools which i want to cover I already have done video on Rock of Runner, but I will do another one just with the latest model. So that's it. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to this model in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.